So I headed down to Canesville to see my friend Ben and talk to him about his skate shop that he opened a few years ago. It was his shop's third year anniversary and they were holding a special event that day, so I thought it would be a perfect time to get some good footage. Catonsville is located 15 minutes west of Baltimore City, but it's also where I lived for two years when I first moved to Maryland from Cleveland, Ohio. It's the music town of Maryland with lots to offer, and it was here that I fell in love with skateboarding and music altogether. I decided to stop by Ellicott City on my way there. It's a smaller artsy town mostly known for its great biking trails and arts and crafts. After a cup of coffee and a walk through the woods, I continued onward to what I really came to see. Canesville is home to one of the largest music stores in the nation, Bill's Music House. It's also got the awesome candy box, which has, well, um, lots of candy. If you're feeling ice cream, Tasty Zone is the way to go, but you won't be able to see the sign since apparently it fell down or something. I stopped by my old house for a bit of nostalgia. Looks like they painted the shutters red. I even decided to stop by my old high school, which is going through a huge makeover. Drive safe, kids. I went around back to skate the old high school benches that I knew and loved. Unfortunately, they bulldozed them. So I decided to get my skate on elsewhere by heading to the library ledge, but that had been taken care of too. They replaced the cement with grass. But at least they didn't get rid of the first rail I ever board slid. My guess is nobody bothered to try and skate it because it was so short and high up and difficult to skate. That's me when I was 15. Okay, last resort. I finally opted to skate this dinky park next to a church that was built for the community, but my fears had been realized when I noticed a huge fence around the park. You're telling me I can't even skate something I don't even want to skate? All right, it's time to talk to Ben, the owner of the skate shop called AWOL. My name is Ben Munoz. I am 34 years old, and I was originally born in Washington, D.C., but I lived in San Diego, California, the extent of my life, I'd say, since I was six months old. The name of my skate shop is A Way of Life, or AWOL. We are a skateboard, snowboard, and surf shop. We um, emphasize in primarily in skateboards and snowboarding. Um, we're not really at the beach like that, but we do carry uh, boogie boards, skim boards, some snow, uh, surfboards, um, and when they're in season, we carry like swim trunks. Not a lot of bathing suits and stuff like that, but primarily the hard goods. Um, definitely carry uh, you know, all of the skateboard products out there. Um, uh, and uh, snowboarding gear, um, you know, in season we, we emphasize like uh, with, uh, you know, Forum and uh, Special Blend and Foursquare. Those are the, the accounts we like to, to push. We're diehard Forum fans around here. But we do carry other stuff. So um, I just, there was a new Walmart that opened up over on uh, Washington Boulevard there. And they have this beautiful underground parking structure. It's like a three-tier parking structure. And a uh, great place, you know, to skate when it's raining. But um, we just started going there on Friday nights. And, uh, and showing up there, and it just kind of turned into this big following. Um, there were so many kids showing up that we decided to kind of uh, mimic a, uh, a contest that they do on, online through uh, uh, the Battle of the Barracks, where they basically have this, uh, they, they play skate, uh, the game of skate, and they pair you know, professionals up and, um, in a bracket, and they basically just whittle it down to one, one winner over a, you know, X amount of weeks. Because you know, the shop, it's AWOL, I just, you know, very serendipitously, just off the top of my head one day, I, I said, well, yeah, we'll call it the AWOL Assault. You know, they have the Battle of the Barracks, we have the AWOL Assault. You know, keeping that whole kind of war theme going, I guess, if that makes any sense. But, you know, battle, you know, assault, it's kind of the same connotation, I guess. So we call it the AWOL Assault. And um, I, I just said it kind of jokingly, and, you know, the kids, you know, they, they took it seriously and it stuck. So, uh, you know, I think like that next that next Monday or that following Monday or Saturday, the kids came in and they were like, oh, are we going to do AWOL Assault next weekend? Are we having AWOL Assault? And it's just kind of stuck. started giving prizes but the coolest thing about it I thought is that you know we got like we would have like 50 kids show up to battle it out and they wouldn't even win anything I mean I wasn't even like giving out prizes or anything not because you know I didn't want to I just you know it was just kind of a thing for fun
Some douchebag decided to pull the fire alarm during our competition, which postponed both the event and my film. But after the fire department came and shut off the alarm, we were back to business. And the game of skate continued. So the game of skate is very uh, similar. Uh, it's, well, not very similar. It's basically the same as uh, playing horse, if you've ever played horse with a basketball. And the way horse works in basketball, you know, one person, you know, you have two people playing, one guy makes a shot, the other guy has to make the same shot. The person who goes first basically sets the trick, and then the person, you know, other person has to duplicate the trick. If they can't, then they get a letter all the way up to E, first person to skate wins. It's a flat ground contest. Just because it's on the flat ground doesn't mean that anything on the flat ground counts. So that means no hand plants, no foot plants, no grabbing the board. Basically, they kind of rule out all the old school stuff, and it's basically flip tricks only. Um, Offensive toe drag gets one do over. Defensive toe drag has a greater margin of error, but is ultimately decided by a judge, myself, or somebody else that we appoint as a judge. Um, last letter gets two tries, and uh, that's that's pretty much the rules of the game. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> I ended up in fifth place at the end of the night. Neil ended up victorious out of the 30 skaters who signed up to compete. He beat me last year too. I'll get you someday, kid. Luckily, I was able to run into him a few days later to get his side of the story about the skate scene in Catonsville, AWOL, and what he looks for in the future for himself. Neil! Hey, what's up? Yo. Look who I found. Uh, my name is Neil Rogers. I'm 16 and from Canesville, Maryland. My favorite place to skate would be the double block at Lyric because it's the perfect combination of like drops and ledges. And it's always a fun time when you go there. So that's my favorite place to skate. My favorite trick would be um, like a Nolly and Heel because so they're easy for me to bust out and they're always fun to catch and shit. So. Well, before AWOL opened, I basically stayed around my neighborhood to skate, and I like could barely land a kickflip or anything, and I had to go travel all the way to Rascals to get stuff, and they'll drive me off, and like I was I was like going nowhere in skating, but once AWOL opened and like St. Tim's opened, and it like helped me get better and want to get better, and that's when I really started to progress like three years ago. I plan on staying on my skateboard until I can't skate anymore, so. Exactly. So I'm going to go skate now, so <laughs> see you later. <laughs> well, that about wraps it up. I had a great time skating with some old friends, and I took home a story to share with the rest of the world. Stop by AWOL sometime if you're looking for good prices and a friendly atmosphere. And thanks to everyone for contributing to a great skate night.